all eyes set on the Fed's interest rate hike decision today later in the day while gold Dow Jones and Nasdaq both trading bullish as I said in my morning analysis that one can remain long on gold till the time it trades above 1808 the target was 1830 precisely it is achieved and in fact it is achieved 1836 the next resistance level similarly us 30 see how beautifully it has achieved 3620 levels you can listen to the morning analysis and same with a tech 100 it is traded above and now achieved 11450 levels now what is going to happen today we will try to see with the candlestick charts and indicators first we look into gold followed with nasdaq 100 and in the end Dow Jones, do listen to it carefully, do listen to the strategy and do not forget to like, share, subscribe, comment, do not forget to press the bell icon. See gold on the early charts has shown the reversal here and that is the time today morning I had told that one can remain long on gold with the target at around 1825-30 zone and in fact this time it has achieved 1836 which is the next resistance and then beyond that 1840-45 levels this is going to be a very strong resistance on the upside. Why I am saying so I will tell you but right now it is trading outside the Bollinger Bands on the early charts possibly it may get a pullback on the downside. Oscillator is in bullish side, the direction movement is also bullish, it is crossed over, the MACD is also bullish here, it is wide divergent and stochastic, RSI 2 is near to overbought and MACD stochastic is overbought too on the hourly chart. So on the hourly chart it appears that it requires a little drop but let's see whether it can continue with the run or it is going to drop. See if you look at the 2 hour charts, on the 2 hour charts it appears see it is trying to create a channel of its own the next resistance is definitely at 1840 levels and possibly this is going to be the very strong resistance level and possibly we may see a little reversal from here and the drop could be sharper with the fed we may see it dropping sharply there is a possibility however if you see it trading above 1840 and yes you can go long there and you can expect it to rise more now if you look at the awesome oscillator it is still in the negative side but it is trying to cross over it is the diminishing size of the candles indicating that it is trying to reverse similarly directional movement has crossed over for a bullish move the MACD has also crossed over and it is wide and divergent indicating bullishness there similarly RSI looking upwards and the stochastic is overbought on the two hour charts mixed indication few indicators are indicating that it has seen the high and it probably may reverse however uh, still there is some scope on other indicators now look at the 3 hour charts on the 3 hour charts you, it appears here see it is trying to trade in this channel the high is almost done 1836 and in fact it can try to rise still towards 1840 levels and from there possibly it may try to drop again so those who question here uh, in the comment box today morning that you are saying go long above 1808 and on the high side you are saying to go short why it is you know different directions you will come to know with the statement in fact possibly we may see again a drop when uh, gold is at around 1840 levels but this is only possible till the time it trades below 1840 and do not try to achieve 1850 plus plus level beyond 1850 we may see a very sharp rise taking it towards 1860-1870 levels but be watchful of 1840-50 zone this is going to be the next, next resistance so be watchful and if you look at the oscillator there it is also trading in red there the directional movement is still bearish trying to converge and cross over you can see the MACD has just crossed over it is divergent this is the first candle possibly we may see a little more greener candles there RSI looking up first the stock stick is overbought on the 3 hour charts and similarly if you look at the 4 hour charts on the 4 hour charts too see it appears that it has achieved the highs of this channel and there is a little possibility that it can try to go back or uh, you know there is a little chance that it may try to achieve this zone but I think 1836 is definitely a very strong resistance and now 1820 will provide the support below 1820 we may see a good shot again so I'll be watchful of these levels 1836 is definitely a very good resistance there and then 1840, 1845 and 1850 will come into picture so oscillator is in trading bearish it is trying to converge the directional movement is also bearish it is trying to converge crossover MACD is trying to converge crossover on the 4 hour charts indicating some bullish move RSI looking upwards the stock high stick is overbought now coming back to the daily charts on the daily charts one must observe that see it is flat bottom it has achieved higher highs and yes if you see it trading below 1808-1805 levels 
it can drop equally strongly on the downside and how high, high how low it can go it can again go till towards 1780 level so yes there is a possibility that if it reverses from here and till the time it trades below 1836 one can expect that it may try to drop and in fact 1840 levels it can try to drop again there is a possibility which exists but not beyond 1840 levels mark my words not beyond 1840 levels so trade accordingly you can see oscillator they are trading in red and yes directional movement is bearish the macd has also crossed over recently this is the second candle and see it is trading in red not willing to cross over and hence there is a pressure from the upside and it can reverse from here so those who are long can book the profits probably we may see a reversal here rsi is looking upwards and the stochastic is oversold now considering this only long entry in gold now is above 1836 levels you can go long at 1836.5 for 1840 1845 1850 and if it trades beyond 1850 i will be extremely bullish for 1855 1870 levels it can rise till there but uh as far as i am concerned i will be looking forward to a drop now i think today morning i had predicted to everyone to go long now the highs are done and possibly we may see a drop from but only confirmation of a short entry should be at around 1824 levels if it drops below 1824 again you can go short from there and you can expect 1818 below 1818 definitely one can remain short for 1808 1800 and then 1780 levels so take your positions accordingly and trade accordingly trade with the trailing stop loss see nothing will happen if you don't trade today because it is going to remain volatile be cautious with your capital today trade with the stop loss trade with strict stop loss it may eat it so trade with caution now let's have a look at nasdaq 100 see nasdaq 100 on the early charts lower highs and 11450 levels definitely providing a very strong resistance it is also the top of the bollinger bands on the early charts next resistance at 11500 and then 11553 these three levels 11450 11550 11550 these three levels should be watch out for any long entry on us 100 is only above 11550 levels now on the downside you can see there is a strong support at 11350 so yes you can go short at 11350 for sure then below that we can see a sharper drop and how far this can go it can again go till towards 11200 11100 and then sub 11000 levels also can be seen if it continues to tra trade with the inflation data now if uh, sorry the interest rate data the uh, oscillator is bullish here on the early charts directional movement is bullish the macd is bullish and if you look at the rsi is bullish here it is trying to trade over trade overbought levels and stochastic is bullish here too similarly if you look at the 2 hour charts on the 2 hour charts you can find that see till now it is trying to trade in this zone lower highs lower lows i will be watchful of 11450 460 levels if it breaks 11460 i'll be looking forward to 11500 then 550 levels beyond 550 yes you can go long for 11700 and then it will fill the gap which it has left throughout this week and which is which was there and uh, towards the opening of the week we it has started with a gap down so be watchful of that the oscillator there is a uh, trying to cross over for a bullish move the directional movement is crossing over for a bullish move the macd is already bullish rsi looking upwards and the stochastic is looking upwards too on the 2 hour charts similarly if you look at the 3 hour charts and today morning i told you that one can remain long till the time it trades above 11350 and see on interestingly on the 3 hour charts see this is trying to come out of this consolidation zone this is the breakout candle i'll be watchful of this zone at 11460 once it trades out beyond 11460 i'll be looking forward to 11500 then 11500 after that 11550 600 levels so yes there are resistance at every 50 points till 11700 levels beyond 11700 it is going to rise strongly but yes one can go long at 11450 itself the directional movement is still uh, awesome oscillator is still in bearish but it is trying to reverse if the trend from here directional movement is trying to cross over the macd is bullish here trying to trade in green it is white divergent rsi coming out of the bottom there it was oversold and stochastic 2 is entering into oversold overbought levels similarly if you look at the 4 hour charts on the 4 hour charts see one thing you must observe that it is getting the trying to trade in this channel so yes if you try to if it tries to break out beyond 11460 go long there then 11500 550 levels can be seen on the downside there is a clear cut support at 11350 levels trading below 11350 one can go short for 11300 and then below that we can expect a sharper drop till towards 11200 11100 and sub 11000 levels 
the awesome oscillator it is trading bearish but trying to converge directional moment bearish trying to converge the MACD has just crossed over and it is white divergent and bullish indicating further green candles can be seen RSI 2 is coming out of the overbought sold levels and it is trying to bounce back the stochastic 2 is near to overbought levels remember uh, if the interest rate high decision in fact if, if Fed keeps it at 0.5 percent which is as projected earlier the markets are gonna rally if it is at 0.75 I think the bearishness will be there but still uh, because see markets have already the news have already uh, spread a sentiment that 0.75 percent hike is already there so yes any any uh, increase below this definitely will be uh, strongly positive for the market that is my expectation and a 0.75 percent hike and the projection for the next quarter will definitely be the guidance for the traders today now look at the daily chart here see on the daily chart it is trying to give you lower highs and probably from here it can try to give you lower lows how it low it can go it can try to hit 11100 and then below that we may see a sharper red candle which may try to take it towards sub 11000 levels so yes ideally one can try to initiate short entry here with the stop loss at 11460 now the oscillator here on the daily charts is in red the directional movement is bearish the MACD has also crossed over for a bearish mode the RSI is near to bottom there and the the stochastic is oversold so this is only one indicator which is indicating that it is oversold and it can try to bounce that little so yes only long entry today i'll recommend is above 11460 level 11560 levels beyond that yes you can expect a, a rise so yes you can go long, long at 11460 then you can expect 11500 11550 11600 11650 and 11710 beyond that it is going to fly till towards 11800 900 12000 levels yeah, yes in some uh, there is a possibility of reversal till the time it trades below 11,550 levels and 11,600 levels there is a possibility of reversal and a drop again so yes you can take a short entry in fact at 11,500, 550, 600 every resistance it may try to in reverse a bit so you have to cancel the trade and on the downside only short entry rather if you want to stay safe only short entry I will recommend is below 11,350 levels below that yes we can expect a sharper drop take your positions accordingly and as I said 11,460 at this levels also you can try to initiate a short entry possibly we may see a drop from there take your positions accordingly now let's have a look at US 30 see on US 30 today morning I told that watch out for 30 620 levels and it will or it should or it must achieve those levels precisely it has achieved those levels and now trying to reverse from here the next support level if you look at the stronger support is at around 3450 levels and if it breaks below 3450 yes you can go short rather i will recommend at 3430 below that yes you can expect a sharper drop right now it is trading outside the bollinger bands trying to reverse from here the awesome oscillator trying to cross over for a bullish entry the directional movement is bullish here it is crossed over and the MACD is also bullish so on the early charts even the RSI is bullish and the stochastic is looking upwards so on the early charts it is indicative of a probable bullishness here and if you look at now if you look at the 2 hour charts on the 2 hour charts the support there at 3450 levels and from here if it drops we can see a sharper drop so below 3450 definitely one can go short also it is trying to give you this highs and probably I think below 3500 and 3450 levels definitely one can remain short for a good drop there the awesome oscillator is trading bearish trying to converge and cross over for a bullish move directional movement trying to cross over MACD is bullish here wide divergent and RSI looking upwards stochastic is looking upwards too similarly if you look at the 3 R charts on the 3 hour charts you can find that see on the 3 hour charts couple of observations support there at 3500 levels is done it is trying to trade in this channel the high for this channel is done the lows at around 3400 levels 30 and yes if you see trading below 3400 definitely one can remain short in fact one can try to initiate a short entry at around 3400 uh, levels and below that we can expect 3450 to sub provide a support 3400 to provide a support and if it trades below 3400 we can expect a stream fall and i think it has seen the highs of this channel probably it is trying to trade in this channel today it may try to hit sub 30k levels possibly now awesome oscillator is trying to converge the directional movement is cross trying to converge and cross over the MACD is wide divergent and bullish here on the 3 hour charts the RSI 2 is coming out of the oversold levels and it is trying to reverse a bit a stochastic is trying to enter into overbought levels here similarly if you look at the 4 hour charts 
on the four hour chart see it is seen the highs here and there is a support at 3500 levels you can go short there at 3500 rather i'll say 3480 levels and below that you can expect a sharper drop for 3450 400 below 3400 there is going to be a sharper drop so take your trades accordingly and yes any long entry i will recommend is only beyond 36 50 levels so if you see it trading beyond 3650 go long for 3800 and plus plus levels below 3650 i will recommend you to stay short the oscillator here is trying to trade bullish it is trading bearish right now trying to converge and cross over for a bullish move the directional movement is bearish here trying to cross over the macd has just crossed over on the four hour charts and it is divergent indicating bullishness the rsi2 is trying to come out of this bearishness there and the stochastic is looking upwards on the 4 hour charts now if you look at the daily chart on the daily charts one observation that it has achieved lower highs and if you see this channel here let me try to draw it for you so first thing is connect these dots here then try to connect the dots here it, is it look good yes it looks perfectly fine and yes if you see it trading beyond 3650 then you can go long for it can try to equalize this height and 3800 will be the target at the same time once you see it trading below 3400 today one can go short and then this time it is going to hit sub 30,000 levels and in fact this time it can try to hit 29,800 levels also if it continues to trade so go short at 3400 very very clear go long at 3650 till the time it is it, it is in between these 250 points we have to exercise caution oscillator trading in bearish there directional movement bearish the macd is also bearish the rsi is oversold on the daily charts now and the stochastic is already oversold considering this only long entry i'll recommend you today is at 3650 levels till the time it trades below 3650 i'll expect it to drop yes you can take a short entry at 35 3480 levels from 3480 you can expect 3450 the first support 3400 the next support and then it will give you a sharper drop on the downside so go short at 3480 and till the time it trades about 3480 and 3650 i will not recommend you to take a trade in between these 170 points so trade with caution trade with stop loss it may give you huge swings nothing will happen if you don't trade for one day first thing is to preserve your capital and take your see it looks beautiful to take a trade okay it is going to happen this way we can catch a sharp move but yes remember you will catch a sharp move but always on the opposite side so please trade safely please trade with stop loss please trade with trailing stop loss at least and don't worry if it get close with a 100 point loss let it go you can re-enter again you can trade again tomorrow you can trade again and uh, next week but if you lose thousand points in a drop or thousand points in a rise you will take much more time to recover in fact from the trauma and for because of the capital loss also so take your positions accordingly trade safely trade profitably reach out to me and join my mentorship batch join my uh, signals group reach out to me for my, any of your trading or trading related queries my email id and telegram ids are mentioned in the channel and video description thank you very much have a great profitable trading day thank you